Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'll pass over to Charlie to give you a bit of an idea about the, uh, the collection we're talking about today. Yeah, um, just before I start on that, I just wanted to mention that if you've got any questions, just pop them in the chat and we'll try and answer as many as we can at the end. Um, but we can also answer a few as we go along as well. Um, so today is the um, exclusive preview of um, the Harlequin new brand campaign. And we'll also be previewing um, our Colour One collection. So these both work hand in hand and they're all about creating spaces that are unique to you. Um, so we've got a digital launch on the 24th of June and we've got the physical launch going out on the 1st of July. Um, so you really are some of the first people to see this today. So the collection is a range of carefully curated um, existing designs and also iconic um, newness. And this is across three books. We've got 133 SKUs and we've got some really amazing digital tools as well to show you today. Um, so we've got a digital design book as we've been uh, developing for a lot of our brands already. Um, we've also got an own the room quiz, which uh, we'll go into a little bit more detail on later and a white paper, which we'll also discuss in a bit more detail. So this is across fabrics and wallpapers. So I'll just pass you over to Charlotte. Yeah, so we wanted to um, really immerse you in the whole Harlequin brand experience with this. And um, we can't really do that without starting with what Harlequin's all about and what we've um, come up with as our really strong brand campaign, Own the Room. So just to give you an overview, this is the first time in history that Harlequin has done anything like this, where we've really taken a brand first approach. Um, and what I mean by that is we're looking at the brand as an overall and who we are, what we stand for. Um, so the first part of this, as you can see on the left here, was building a really strong brand campaign, Own the Room. This is our enduring communication message that you'll see over and over again um, for the next two years or more. So this is what we're really championing as a brand. Uh, this is what Harlequin stands for, and it'll tap into the emotion of hopefully everybody. Um, we believe it's, it's really strong. The second thing is the white paper. So Harlequin has commissioned um, a professor of color science um, to do a scientific paper which is a really important piece of research. And it's not only validated some things that we already knew, um, which were around the emotional color response that people have um, to color design and design preferences, um, but also another side as well. So just to go into a bit more about that, the color, the emotional response um, is a big part of our, uh, our sort of journey with deciding which colours we love. And normally that comes from memories, from cultural references and preference. And you'll probably hear people a lot of the time talking about psychology of colour. So that is really important. But like I say, there's this other part um, of the coin, which is something that we've been informed of as well along this journey. And that's the physical effect that colour and light have on people. So for example, right now we're all looking at a screen, but if you, like me, are on your iPhone at late at night, I'm sure many of you know that that cool light is actually something that alerts you. That's a physical response to colour. Alternatively, if you're getting ready for bed and you've got dimmer lights and warmer light, that is actually helping with your circadian rhythms to help you go to sleep. So for the first time, Harlequin has taken this information and pulled it together in a way that nobody else has. Um, so we've pulled it into our own the room quiz. We're really wanting to own both sides of the coin and essentially help people own the room from both angles um, to create their perfect solution. So the own the room quiz completely does this. 
And it's a revolutionary tool that will help you and um, your customers be guided to that perfect look for them. So hopefully that makes sense about what we're, what we've been doing behind the scenes. So just to give you a bit of background, it was really interesting actually Harlequin, um, we've done a lot of research and one of our big customer insights was that, you know, women in particular love the idea of using colour and they're really into their fashion choices. But when it comes to their homes, they've got that sort of lack of conviction to use it a bit more nervous. And we felt like that was something that Harlequin could really stand for and really help. Um, so we've worked on our brand DNA or brand character, as we like to call it, to come up with what Harlequin really stands for. And essentially, Harlequin stands for being bold, being confident, being, of course, colourful. That's definitely something that Harlequin stands for. And above all, being empowered. Now, it might seem like maybe a strange statement to say that's Harlequin's an empowered woman is what we stand for. But actually, we know that, you know, our consumers are on the whole women, but that doesn't mean we're not also catering for the men out there. So don't be too scared off by that. Mm -hmm. It's definitely um, to appeal to everybody, but it's all about that message of empowerment and um, being confident. So we've done some work um, at, at a broader level at Sanderson Design Group as um, a whole company. We've got our group purpose, which is to bring the beautiful into people's homes and lives. And this is something that as a business, we completely stand by. We are working towards internally and externally. It's really the essence of the culture of the business. But how does Harlequin fit into that? Well, Harlequin's purpose to bring the beautiful into people's homes and lives is through empowering people to express their individuality through colour and design. So like I say, this is what Harlequin stands for. This is what's the essence of Harlequin. So Harlequin believes that our best interiors are created when they reflect who we are unreservedly and unapologetically. The stage is yours. Own the room is all about you, your space, your style, your choice. And own the room wants you to find that perfect look that's uniquely yours. So the own the room tool leads you to one of these four looks. We've got reflect, rewild, retreat and renew. And it, one of them will be best suited to your interior personality. And just to add I doubt who that is, which one a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And just to add to that as well, um, these are looks that we've done really well with, um, with the Harlequin brand time and time again. And we've always tried to reinvent them or recreate them in a new way. And we just um, are basically expanding on that um, again. So our dream um, is to empower people to go bold in their spaces that matter to them. And you can see here, these are some of our, what we feel are very um, inspiring and confident advertising campaign images. So there's um, the more calming influence. Um, you've got determined, so a very determined person here. Um, and then you've got daring, which I I was on the shoot with Charlie actually, and we absolutely loved. This was Jeff. <laughs> we loved Jeff. He was very much the epitome of this person, of this persona that you can see here. Um, and this is one of the designs in the background from the Rewild group. So you can see them there together. And this is what's really important. We want you all and the customers to own the room. And at this point, we'd love to know which one you believe you might be or which one you prefer. So we've put a little A, B and C at the top. And if you want to use the chat, we'd love to know what your preference is. So you'll learn which is which group later on, but the first one's called Renew. Then we've got Reflect and Rewild here. But yes, A, B or C. <laughs> oh, we've got some answers coming Not in. Nice to see. Tula's A. Hi, Tula. <laughs> B and A, love it. 
oh, see all the way. <laughs> Lady after my own heart. <laughs> Dan, that, I mean, that's cheating, choosing all three. <laughs> um, I'm glad you like them all, though. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. <laughs> well, we couldn't pick. That's why we've done all three. So, um, you know, we wanted to give a really nice representation as well across the board of these people. It can be anybody. It's really about these, you know, each person owning that space, and it's all about them. Um, and again, like I say, you'll see this going for a, for a number of years, we're really going to be pushing own the room. B, B's getting a lot. So um, we'll, I'll, I'll tally them up in a minute, but thank you so much. So just to go back, so it, hopefully everyone completely gets the amount of um, fabulous tools that you'll have in your, your toolkit at this point. We've got the brand campaign, so own the room. We've got the Harlequin white paper, which is the science behind it. And then we've got the own the room quiz, which is a great tool for you guys to use with your customers um, or for yourself. We want to know, you know, what you're all going to be as well. So um, Harlequin really has gone through a full brand reboot. And this is all about the brand and all about owning the room. So I'll pass you over to uh, Claire Greenfield, who will talk through the Harlequin Colour Collection. Thanks, Charlie. Hi, everybody who's joined since I introduced myself earlier. Um, I'm Claire Greenfield and I'm lead Harlequin designer. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the looks that we've been um, discussing already. There's actually four looks. So this is the extra one, Retreat. Um, before I even go down that route I just wanted to say that this is a really exciting collection um, it's full of transitional designs we've got our iconic best-selling designs in this collection as Charlie's mentioned mixed through with really new statemental joyous designs so it's a real wonderful mix of the two and it's amazing how they work so well together and that just shows us how Harlequin you know you can build upon all of our looks and, and and now we've got these places to put them we've got these four looks and there's a home for everything that Harlequin does which is is really great to see it all working together in that way so there'll be some familiarity as we go through designs that you might notice and recognize and then we've got lots and lots of newness to share with you as well so we're hoping that we can help people to empower and express their personalities to own the room by connecting people's personalities with their interiors so we'll have a quick look at these four special looks now um, so this first look is retreat um, retreat is a really tranquil look um, and palette of colors it's uh, really naturally elegant um, it's got muted chalky tones in there lots of um, botanical greens uh, subtle metallics and mediterranean pinks it's really about understated glamour and it's quite a calm peaceful um, and timeless look um, within each of our looks, we've got these really important colour proportions that you can see at the bottom of the page there, and they just really highlight the colours that are shown in each look in each collection. So here we've really concentrated on that beautiful pink on the right, which is the Positano pink. We've got the succulent green on the left, and then we've got accents of burnt umber, soft metallics and neutrals. So you'll see those bars being shown throughout the book. So that's Retreat in a nutshell. Um, reflect. Uh, this is the perfect tonic to our fast paced lives. Any of the, you, you that know Harlequin well, we know our momentum collections and this is kind of the home for the momentum designs. Um, it's full of a beautiful palette of soft greys and smoky darks um, with little accents of copper and metallics within it. Um, it's a look that blends edgy angularity with transition with um, transitional designs and it's about um, obscured organic patterns and architectural influences which I think is highlighted so well in this fabulous photography. Um, each of our um, looks have been photographed with this really inspiring imagery at four different locations. Um, we'll talk about the reflect when we previously saw in a little bit but um, sorry retreats that we looked at <laughs> reflect here um, was um, photographed at Gasholder Park and you can see that amazing um, architectural lines there against the beautiful um, greens that are mirrored there that are in the in in the landscaping within that within that area so you've got that really great mix of um, organic nature and um, real structural patterns and, and shapes so yeah reflect the colors that are within this palette 
um, a sort of a smoky and dark, but then we've got the highlights of ochre and indigo, and then we've got copper as well. So some of you might notice there's some really key Harlequin bestsellers in here. We've got zeal at the top and, and we've recolored our Sumi design as well. So that can be seen there. And we've got some fabric with Sumi printed on it as well. So Just that's really to expand as well on our photography choices, uh, we were seeing a real um, gap in the market for um, very statemental interior shots. So that's something we've really worked on um, for this collection in particular, just to push the boundaries a little bit more and create shots that are very kind of inspiring and um, out there. Um, so hopefully that will uh, be a really great selling point for you guys. You can see Charlie's reflect because that's what you've got behind you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> new sue me, yeah. <laughs> um, Renew. So Renew is really a lovely soft and relaxing look. Um, it's uh, uplifting and natural. It's got a lovely light and airy feel to it. Uh, really elegant and ethereal look. Um, it combines really soft colouring. So it's still all about the colour, but it's about soft layers of colour. It's lots of tinted whites and soft blues. Um, and it's really like taking a lot of inspiration from nature, from the, the sea to the sky, really. Um, and it's just a beautiful, calming feeling. So there's lots of blues in this, in this um, Renew. And we've got the um, Exhale and Ink and Sea Glass. There's some of the blues that are in there and then lots of beautiful neutrals as well. And the colour proportions are also there as guidance, but you can dial up the colours in different ways. So if you want to use more blue or you want to use more whites, you can totally be creative with that and find something that's personal to you. Absolutely. It might be a palette that runs through your house and you dial up a different colour in a different room as to what, what feeling you want in that room. Okay, Rewild. This is Jeff's look. <laughs> so Rewild is all about appreciating the beauty of nature, but in a different way. It's invigorating. It's full of confident shades, energy and excitement. It's about being able to travel again, which we can't do at the moment, but to really exotic places. It's about the rainforests and the coral reefs, obviously lots of endangered animals living in those areas at the moment. So again, a hot topic that um, everyone's really interested in. Um, so it's really got full of lots of vibrant designs. Um, it's also really um, looks at the maximalist trend that's really key at the moment. And it's about layering all your patterns and textures together and shouting about your personality. So it's a really bright, vibrant and exciting look. And the key colours there that we've got are fig green, pomegranate, Brazilian rosewood and terracotta. And again, we thought a lot about the names that we're using for our colours and you'll see these um, being reused throughout each collection. We'll be picking up on colours from previous collections and carrying them on and adding to them um, in that way. You'll probably notice, uh, recognise a couple of um, our Amazilia designs there in cushions. So you can see how, you know, this whole look comes together as like a brand new reinvented scheme, even though it's got existing bestsellers in there as well as newness. I think that mix really creates something unique. Um, so that's something that we really believe will be a great selling point. And uh, just to add on this look as well, we actually photographed this one at the Barbican. And um, we thought it was the perfect location for this um, story, because uh, you've got this concrete jungle almost um, mm -hmm and this nature growing out of the... the so there's lots more really exciting for photography to share with you. We can't share it all today because there's not time, but there's lots more for you to explore and see, and you'll see more of the Barbican within those images. Definitely. And within the digital design book, there'll be lots of um, photography, so you'll be able to see uh, the full comprehensive um, collection overview in there. And in addition to all this amazing lifestyle photography that we've created, uh, we've also um, produced some CGI, so computer generate, generated images, um, which support every single design skew in the collection. Um, so obviously there's so much product in this launch, there's 133 SKUs. So we thought it was really important to have um, every product in situ, either on a wall as a wallpaper or hanging as a drape. Um, so this will be shown on our website. So when you click on the design, you'll be able to see it in situ. Um, and we'll also use these um, in uh, other formats as well. So you'll be able to see those. Um, 
In addition to that, we've produced some behind the scenes videos. So we've got um, behind the scenes on shoot at each of the stories, each of the looks. Um, this one, I'm just gonna show you the video for um, our retreat look. And uh, you can use these as well. We'll send these out and you can have these as your trade tools as well. And they'll be on our website. So I'll just play this for you. So I'm sure you'll all agree that it's really special to kind of see the inside of what goes on on a shoe and behind the scenes. So hopefully you'll find that really inspirational. And um, so we've got one for each look. Um, that's just the retreat video I've shown you at Scion Park. Um, so now, oops, sorry, I will pass you back over to Claire Greenfield, who's going to take you through some of the products in detail. So I'll just stop sharing now and I will spotlight Claire so you can all see her full screen. Hi everyone. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Charlie. Right, yes, I'll take you through. There's so much to show you within this collection. We have got a slide a little bit later that gives you a quick overview of everything that is within the collection. As we said, lots of bestsellers and then new iconic designs. I'm surrounded by quite a few of them today. This is mostly our rewild look that's around me. Um, so I've just highlighted a few key designs, some of our hero designs to share with you today. So this one here is called Melora. So Melora is an absolutely beautiful modern, our modern take on a damask. Um, we've got it printed here on a beautiful cotton velvet. So I don't know if you can see that depth of color and that sheen that's in there. Um, we've got a Brazilian rosewood coming through there, the ink blue, um, some really lovely strong sort of colors that just ping off this beautiful cotton velvet. So it's got lots of lovely texture engraved into this as well. Um, and that really sits nicely with our beautiful wallpaper in the same colorway. Now this is surface printed. So this is um, got a beautiful metallic highlight within here as well. Um, again, sits beautifully with the cotton velvet. They really match well. Um, and it's just this beautiful movement that you get from the surface print, that texture, it really makes it quite a special product. So that colorway is from our rewild look. Absolutely um, love that colorway. On my face. <laughs> I think I'm a bit of rewild and a bit of reflect. I know there's a bit of all of us. <laughs> we all like a bit of everything when you work so closely on it. Yeah, you've got um, some in every room. <laughs> I'll just quickly show you a few of the other colorways we have of this design. We saw that in the um, retreat look that we've just seen on the film. Again, the lovely surface print wallpaper with the metallic highlights in there. Um, and beautiful cotton velvet here. So you can see how beautifully they work together. So that's the same design. So we've got a rewild version, a retreat version, and a renew. So we've got this beautifully soft exhale colorway here with, again, it's got two metallics in here with what we call a gilver, a sil soft silvery gold, and then a lovely warm gold there with all those beautiful um, calming tones of blue within that colorway. So that's Melora. Up next, I've got Dance of Adornment. So you've seen a bit of this already. It was behind Jeff. <laughs> it's heavy, quite heavy. And it's on the front of the book. So it is featured quite heavily across the collection. Um, it's an amazing design. It's got lots of wonderful birds within it. Um, the name for this collection came from this little chap here. The dance of adornment is what he does to um, attract his mate. <laughs> it's a really interesting design because although it is so vibrant and so full of life, it is one that you have to sort of look twice at because um, it's quite camouflaged. So initially you can't see all of the birds within it. 
Um, once you know where they are, obviously you do. We've got lots of beautifully hand-drawn in the studio um, by one of our very talented um, designers. We've got all these beautiful birds within there. So this one here is printed onto an MRI's cotton, and this is suitable for drapery and upholstery. We already teased this on social as well recently, and we've had a great reaction to it so far on Instagram. Yeah, really, really been well. Um, then this is the wallpaper that sits with it. So it's a wide width wallpaper. Again, it's got all the vibrancy that the fabric has, um, and it's the same design. So you've got that same repeat running through it. It's a real lovely maximalist look there in that colorway. And then we've got a slightly softer colorway here with the pinks and the, the sort of more camo neutrals running through there. So we've got the two colorways and that's the, again, on the MRI's cotton, so suitable for upholstery and drapery. The next design that I have to share with you is Acropora. So this design, whereas we were looking at the beautiful birds, this one takes us under the sea. So this one, we've looked at all sorts of um, plant life in the coral reef and all the corals that can be found there. I hope that's coming across okay on the screen, but it's printed onto this beautiful cotton velvet again. Our cotton velvets do really well for us. They're wonderful for, for upholstery great for drapery as well and just the vibrancy of colour the colours all sing off this this cotton velvet and and just look absolutely stunning and make an absolutely wonderful statement when you moved it then Claire it looked like the it was almost under the sea and the water yeah. was moving it. it's so <laughs> lovely we're immersed in that under the exactly. sea exactly <laughs> fantastic and then we've got the same colourway here in the wallpaper but with a white ground so you've got that slightly lighter ground for the wall um, again, just all the beautiful colours are there and all of the corals running through that design. The detail is incredible. Mm -hmm. So great. Um, just to show you how different a design can look when coloured, obviously you'll know that, but um, we've also coloured this one into our Renew palette and it's, it was in the advert that we saw earlier. Um, it's like, it almost looks like a modern day toile now, coloured up in these blues. So this is the wallpaper. And here we've had it printed for a more natural look on the um, MRI's cotton again. So this can be put onto a furniture as well, um, but just gives that really beautiful, more sort of slightly classic look there. So there's lots of um, statement pieces within this collection, but then we have got quieter moments in there. When you see the whole of the collection, there's a few planes and some few quieter designs. Um, and this is a beautiful design. This is called Atoll. We've got it as a surface printed wallpaper. So again, picking up on the corals, the same corals that are running through um, the Gorgoni, uh, Acropora design. Um, and then we've got it printed onto a lovely cotton linen here. So we've got a nice texture in the, in the ground there. And we've got a positive and negative gabbron on there in that colorway. So that works really nicely with the blues. We've got a few colorways with this one. Um, We've got the emerald greens here. You can see the wallpaper and the fabric. And a lovely bronzy colourway, a neutral. I mean, that would just look fab wrapped right around a whole room, all walls, maybe your ceiling as well. Who knows? <laughs> got a lovely shimmer to it as well. Yeah, it's a beautiful metallic bronze on that wall, on that surface print there. And the lovely movement of the surface print gives you just a beautiful sort of hand printed feel to it. Next up, I've got Gorgonia. I wanted to share this one with you because it's an embroidery and it just adds to the layering effects, all the different textures that you can have build up. So it's on a linen look ground, so it's got a nice natural looking ground to it. And then it's got beautiful um, embroidery on top with a bit of a sheen, a bit of viscose in there. So you've got that shine and um, a matte working together and another beautiful color carrier, lots of colors you can pick out from that to work up a scheme. And as I said, lots of um, textures to work all together, all the beautiful embroidery stitches that are within that. And yeah, that's been inspired again by corals and um, rainforest plants and things. So that one's called Gorgonian. And we also have that on a dark ground here, which again, just transforms the design to a completely different look. Mm -hmm. um, and that's on a beautiful sort of deep mockery ground with all those blush pinks on the top. 
Yeah, I love that combination with like that chocolatey colour. So it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So there, that's a few highlights of, of new designs. I thought I'd just quickly mention that we have got some of our best sellers, as we said, rebooked into the collection. But alongside those, we've also printed some of our best selling wallpapers onto fabric that we haven't done before. So hopefully some of you will know our Amazilia design. Um, we've got some different colorways here. So this is the first time we've printed this onto a fabric. Um, it's on a cotton satin, so it just takes the um, color beautifully. Uh, you've got that beautiful etched drawing in the flowers and then the pops of color coming through the hummingbirds. And we go from the blush pink to the really deep and midnight blues. And we've got another three colorways here that I'll quickly <laughs> pop in. We've got the blues and the neutrals and the gray. And then we've recolored some of those as new wallpapers. So the blush pink is there as a wallpaper as well and the gray. So there's a new colorways there. We've also put Sumi, Lotus um, and Aurelia onto um, in new colorways as wallpapers and printed them onto fabric. Um, so you have to have a little investigation of those ones when you get your books. Mm -hmm. um, and the last design I wanted to mention, um, it's probably been best shown behind Charlotte. She's already got it up in her house. So that's what you can see behind Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, this um, isn't um, a, a CGI background. This is actually <laughs> my house. <laughs> Everyone's in love with it, so everyone's got it up. <laughs> um, so this design is called Floriana. I'm sorry, I've got it upside down. Um, it's a panel. So it's very hard for me to show you it here. We've got a um, image to show you in a moment to explain it a little better. Um, but we, in our recent children's collection, we had some panels in there. They're doing really, really well. And it's just a wonderful way to make a big mural statement on the wall. It's a really special design, Floriana, because it's made up, it's been put together by lots of um, designers that, that work for Harlequin, that have worked for us over the years, have all come together. And it's, we actually called it a collaboration of hands when it was in the studio. So there's lots of different people's hands in there that have come together to produce this beautiful panel. And you'll see elements of, of some of the designs within it as well. Um, this, this flower here is in a design called the 2P. Um, can't quite see any of the other bits on that piece, but they all sit really beautifully together. So we've got a really softly colored retreat colorway there. And it's also printed onto a gold iridescent with a monochrome um, coloring on top. So really two beautiful statemental um, panel designs there. Completely different looks with the colourways as well. They do, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you've got the image, Charlie, then that'll just help me to explain. Yes. Sorry, I'm gonna my screen. The panel. There we go. There we go. Thank you. So um I don't, some of you might already know how our panels work if you've worked with the children's collection, um, but it basically comes on a roll. It's three meters high, but there's space within that to um, chop off the bottom and the top, depending on the space and size of the room. Um, and it's just under three meters wide as well. And in, on this occasion, you get two repeats within, within the, the, the one roll. Um, and that covers, as I say, three meters by about nearly three meters wide as well. Um, and there's the two colorways there that you can see, although the one of the monochrome colorway doesn't quite do it justice because you can't see the beautiful gold, gold iridescent that's in the ground there. But that's a really statement piece that's um, new to the collection and really excited to have these beautiful panels within it. Yeah, you can tra be transported to a faraway place. <laughs> yeah. I, I, can, I can say, I can testify that it was so easy to put up. So I did it on my own. I mean, there, were, there was the odd moment where I was trying to grab my husband's help, but actually <laughs> um, it was fine. You know, I cut them out, put them on the floor, got them ready um, and pasted the wall. So really simple. Um, and it didn't take me that long at all. I'm not inviting any of you around to look closely at my work because I'm not sure it would be up to a professional decorator's uh, inspection, but um, it does look fantastic. And it's such a, a striking design. I absolutely love it. I've had it up for a, probably about a month now. So I'm very lucky that I managed to get my hands on it early. <laughs> that looks amazing. Great, um, so I'll just uh, go through some of the marketing and tools in a bit more detail for you all. 
Um, in terms of the trade customer toolkit, we've obviously got a digital design book. So this will be a comprehensive overview of the full range. We'll have the new and existing product shots in there, and we'll have uh, ways to use the products in different schemes. Um, so as Claire talked about with the uh, color proportions, it will give you guidance on how to mix and match in different ways. Uh, we've also obviously got the own the room tool, uh, which will be able to use with customers, and it will help find a bit of direction for them as to which is their design preferences and hopefully help um, guide them in a way where you can really um, add to that and expand on that with them. Uh, we've also got three physical books that we're going to be sending out um, from the 1st of July, they'll be available to you. Um, so we've got a wallpaper book, a fabric swatch, and then we've also got an Empower Plain book. So this is um, a book that we've created based on refined SKUs. So we've selected all the best selling colours and uh, best sampled colours and we put them together in a physical swatch. So you'll be getting that and you know that they're backed up with um, evidence of sales. So we've also got the Harlequin white paper, as we mentioned before. So lots of scientific evidence on, you know, how colours can affect you and how you can find your preferred look through the quiz. Um, we've also got a trade competition, which we're going to be running. Um, details will follow on that, but we're running one in the UK and we're also running some competitions in uh, international markets as well. Uh, we've got a gatefold brochure. Um, so that will be similar to what you may have received already for Momentum. It will have a fold out uh, brochure pages with an overview of each look and uh, imagery of each look as well. Um, and then I'll just take you on to our media plan, which includes all our upcoming advertising. So in terms of advertising, we are investing heavily in Harlequin as a brand. We're really going big on this collection and this brand launch. Um, so we've got lots of great print advertisement from July onwards across all the key interior lifestyle magazines, such as Living Etc, House Beautiful, L Decoration. And then we're also reaching out into um, a broader um, market as well. So we are also including a few advertisements in supplement magazines. So we've got the stylist and a couple of supplements from the Telegraph magazine, such as Luxury and Stella. Um, so you'll be seeing Harlequin's name dotted all around the shop. Um, so hopefully that'd be really great exposure for the brand. Uh, we want to try and reach out to a wider audience and really get the, the name known. Um, we've also got lots of great digital ads. So we're going to be doing um, a red Instagram takeover and we're going to have Pinterest boards on living, etc. And um, these are all key um, social um, channels for our customers. So really, really reaching out in digital as well and in social across Facebook and Instagram. And then the most exciting thing that we've never ever done before is uh, TV. So we're going to be on TV with Harlequin um, from September onwards uh, for eight weeks. And uh, you'll be seeing us in between programs like uh, George Clark's Amazing Spaces and programs like that on Channel 4. So that's something really exciting to talk to about your customers, get people engaged and get people talking about the brand. So really, really super exciting. Um, just to add to that as well, we've also got some international advertising. So we're reaching out to some of our uh, secondary um, territories such as the USA, Germany, France, and Sweden. So we've got digital and print ads going out there as well. So really, really super exciting. And we'll be doing lots more advertisements from uh, January 2022 as well. So lots of great stuff coming through. And then we're also working with a lot of influencers uh, for Harlequin. And the reason behind that is we want to build up a, a tribe and a, com a community um, of followers for the Harlequin brand who are design enthusiasts and um, inspirational uh, voices of the industry. Um, so we've got some um, editorial pieces that we've been working on with Jonathan Adler and Basola Evans. Um, 
editor at Living Etc. So lots of great content like that. We've also been sponsoring the Great Indoors podcast. I don't know if any of you already listened to that um, with Sophie Robinson and Kate Watson Smythe, but we've been sponsoring that since April. Um, and our last one will be on the 24th of June when we do our digital preview launch. Um, so that's amazing exposure for the brand. And, you know, they're always talking things, interiors and supporting people in the industry. Um, so really, really great exposure. And then we've got some social campaigns coming through from July onwards, which will run for the rest of the year. Um, so we're actually working on a makeover with um, AJ Adudu, um, who's a TV presenter, if you don't already know her. And uh, Siobhan Murphy will be designing her home. Uh, she was the runner up on the great um, interior design challenge. So really great content coming through as well as lots of stylists and interior designers and uh, just design enthusiasts. We've got pieces on uh, design for diversity and also just being confident with design and color. Um, so it's all about celebrating individuality and promoting design and color confidence. So lots of great content to come. Um, just to mention as well, we've got an Inspire page that we're going to be launching on our website. Um, so all our editorial pieces will be uploaded on there and you'll be able to find inspiration and help guide your customer through those resources as well. So if you're waiting for a sign, this is it. Start now. Own the room. <laughs>